Hi again, it's Tim, your Living Sky Guy from the Paris of the Prairies, beautiful Saskatoon. And sticking with that balcony astronomy theme that I've had for the last couple of weeks, I want to talk to you about a summer phenomenon that's happening right now. And what's nice about it is you don't have to stay up too late to see it. In the summertime, we have a tendency of having very, very short nights, as in short nights of astronomical darkness, where it's really dark enough to do some serious observing. From the solstice in mid-June till usually around end of July, the nights are pretty much a write-off for any amount of serious astronomy. However, that doesn't stop us from looking for clouds. Clouds, you say? The sworn enemy of astronomers? Well, not these clouds. These ones are kind of cool. These ones are what are known as noctilucent clouds, and they are the highest forming clouds in the Earth's atmosphere. They show up in the mesosphere at that 70 to 85 kilometer altitude from the Earth. What they look at is basically they, they come out after sunset, usually about an hour to, to an hour and a half after sunset where we'll have these very minute crystals of ice in that mesosphere and if the angles are right they reflect the last of that sun that is that had set that hour or hour and a half earlier and what we see are very thin wispy delicate looking clouds almost look like they were drawn on there they're generally colorless or have a bit of a bluish tinge to them but they are unbelievable to see they are unmistakable when you've got this dark sky surrounding it and that beautiful glowing ethereal cloud. It's a relatively new phenomenon, only really documented about 140 years ago, but it is beautiful to see. And not only is it happening at a relatively reasonable hour, it's not like you're staying up to two o'clock in the morning to see them, but if you are an early riser, you also have a possibility of seeing them prior to sunrise, prior to about an hour to an hour and a half before sunrise as well. Happening, of course, in the eastern sky. Noctilucent clouds, a great summer observing challenge. They don't show up every night, but when they do, you'll remember it. Take care, everyone. Look up at the skies. Look for the clouds. If you want to continue on this voyage of discovery with me, please click on the subscribe button. And you can also follow my personal exploits on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Just search for a living sky guy. Clear skies, everyone.